the way that caffeine works is that it comes in, competes with quite sharp elbows with adenosine, competitively forces them out of the way, hijacks that receptor by latching onto it, but then just essentially blocks it. It doesn't inactivate the receptor, it doesn't activate the receptor. It functionally inactivates it in the sense that it takes it out of the game for adenosine. So it's it's like someone, you know, coming into a room and you're just about to sit down on the chair and caffeine comes in and just pulls out the chair and you're like, well, now I've got nowhere to sit. And caffeine just keeps pulling out the chairs mm -hmm. from adenosine and adenosine, even though it's at the same concentration in your brain, your brain doesn't know that you've been awake for, you know, 10 hours, 16 hours at that point when you've downed a cup of coffee because all of that adenosine that's still there can't communicate to the brain that you've been awake for 16 hours.